Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up 40 Celestial Storm Pokemon Booster Packs. This will be the largest Celestial Storm Booster Pack opening that I do on my channel. Four more booster packs than inside a sealed booster box. I did pull these packs from both a sealed booster box and an elite trainer box that I bought from Troll and Toad. I believe the booster box was $89.95 and the elite trainer box was $29.95. So I'm very excited to get these packs opened up. Of course, Celestial Storm is the newest set in the Pokemon TCG. I'm trying to build a Rayquaza GX deck, so I'm really hoping to pull several copies of Rayquaza from this opening. So all 40 booster packs I'll open up in this video. I won't break it up into part one and part two. The pulls could be a little bit better than normal if the four booster packs I pulled from the Elite Trainer box are better. So the very first pack in this opening, Stack Attack on the cover artwork design. Lots of regular GX in this set, 11 total. Stack Attack, a Rayquaza, and then Shiftry would be three of the more competitive ones. The very first pack starts with Lotad, Seedot, Beldum, Alolan Rattata, Voltorb, Lightning Type Energy, Life Herb, Gorbis, Sabli, Reverse Hollow of a Vigoroth, which is an uncommon, and the rare here would be a Waylord. A very high HP on this card, a high retreat cost as well. Rayquaza pack now. I have actually battled against a Rayquaza GX deck. They actually paired Rayquaza GX with the Garbotoxin, Garbodor. The second pack here starts with Bellsprout, Chincho, Metatite, Spoink, Electrike, Darkness Type Energy, Soul Rock, Life Herb, Sky Pillar, Reverse Solo of a Shellgun, and this is an uncommon. And the final card here would be a Banat. But with that deck that I played against, the strategy is to quickly put down Rayquaza GX, utilizing its ability, attaching an energy card from your discard pile to Rayquaza GX, and then once all the Rayquaza GX are on your bench, disabling all abilities in play with that Garbotoxin Garbodor. Blaziken pack now. This set does feature a lot of Pokemon from the Hoenn region. Also, it includes lots of modernized reprint cards from the EX and Neo series of sets. The Tyranitar Hollow in the set is one of my favorites. Trico to start this pack. Gulpin. Wismer. Shuppet. Sneasel. Water type energy. The Mast Royal. Minior. Volbeat. Reverse Hollow of a Lunatone. And rare Reverse Hollow cards like this one are hard to come by in this set. And the final card would be a Mag Cargo. This is a decent card for the competitive scene. It is nice that it is not a GX or an EX card. So if it, it is knocked out, you only take one prize card instead of two. The ability on that card is the main reason to use it. Jirachi Pack now. Jirachi is available as a Prism Star in this set. Only three Prism Star cards total. Latios and Latius would be the other two. Four and two is the card trick in these packs. This pack starts with Beldum, Shuppet, Mudkip, Torchic, Wismer, Water Type Energy, Marshtomp, Sabli, Kecleon, Reverse Hollow of a Matang, another uncommon, and the rare here would be a Metacham. So a slow start to this opening. Similar to the booster box that I opened up of Celestial Storm, it was an underwhelming box overall. I was only able to pull out 11 combined hollows, ultra rares, and secret rares. Normally you get 12. So this pack starts with Love Disc, Trico, Skitty, Spinarak, Bagon, Fairy Type Energy, Combuskin, Lysia, Beast Ball, Reverse Solo of a C dot, just a common. And the final card here would be an Acro Bike. And this is a Secret Rare Trainer. This type of card is the toughest type of card to pull from packs like this. 
A little bit disappointing that I have pulled this card from a pack before, but Acrobike is one of the better trainer cards in this set. Set that one aside. Maybe I'll be able to pull a GX Rainbow Rare out as well. And that card could be pulled from a pack from the Elite Trainer Box. Blaziken cover artwork design pack now. Look at that, another white colored code card. Whalmer to start this one. Beldum. Spoink. Baltoy. Wingle. Lightning type energy. Tropius. Hiker. Energy switch. Reverse solo of a Surskit, just a common. And the final card here would be an Electro GX. So a couple of great pulls in the last two packs here. Disappointing a little bit about that one as well, just because I pulled a lot of Electro GX out of my openings already. But like I mentioned in those openings, no complaints from me, adding more ultra rares and secret rares to my collection. The goal when opening packs like this is to try and pull all of the ultra rares and secret rares from the pack not have to buy the cards individually of course it is much cheaper to do that buy the cards individually that you want electric to start this pack c dot wingle spoink chincho metal type energy tv reporter life herb gorbis reverse solo of a groudon good looking rare reverse solo and the final card would be a slacking and this is a rare hollow. I do remember this card from the EX series of sets. First rare hollow pull in this larger opening. Rayquaza pack now. And as of recording this video, Rayquaza GX, just the regular GX, is worth $30. It is in very high demand. Cacnea to start this one. Love Disc. Trico. Skitty. Spinarak, Metal Type Energy, Hustle Belt, Volbeat, Combuskin, Reverse Solo of a Wismer, just a common, and the final card would be a Clay Doll. Back to a Jirachi pack now. I do not believe that I've pulled a Full Art Trainer from one of my Celestial Storm openings yet. Eight different Full Art Trainer cards in the set. Bag on to start this one. Another bag on, Shuppet, Mudkip, Alolan Rattatat, Grass Type Energy, Tate and Liza, Cacturn, Weepin' Bell, Reverse Hollow, would be a TV Reporter, which is an uncommon, and the final card would be a Regirock. Have not pulled a Prism Star card out yet either. You're looking at two to three per booster box. Those cards, of course, come in the reverse hollow slot of a pack. Bag on to start this one. Shuppet. Mudkip. Alolan Rattata. Slackoth. Fighting type energy. Switch. Grovile. Lantern. Reverse hollow of a Torkoal, which is an uncommon, cool looking card overall. And the final card would be a Salamence, and this is a rare hollow. I am a big fan of Salamence. The next set that is going to be released in September, I believe it is called Dragon Majesty, will include a Salamence GX. Back to a Stack Attack a cover artwork design. Another green colored code card. Of course, they have the two different versions of the codes to help prevent pack weighing. Surskit to start this one. Slugma. Larvitar. Wismer. Bellsprout. Fire type energy, Shellgun, Hustle Belt, Oracorio, Reverse Hollow of a Bell Toy, just a common, and the final card here would be a Delmise. Rayquaza pack now, still hoping to pull a Rayquaza GX out. It won't happen in this pack. Latius Prism Star is the card that I like most. Slackoth to start this pack. Surskit. Slugma, Larvitar, Wismer, Psychic Type Energy, The Mast Royal, Oracorio, Pupitar, Reverse Hollow, of a Lombre, another uncommon Reverse Hollow, and the final card 
would be a septile. Jirachi pack now. Beldum to start the pack. Whalmer. Spinarak. Alarvitar. Slackoth. Water type energy. Grovile. Lantern. Shelgon. Reverse Hollow of a Super Scoop Up, which is an uncommon, and the rare would be another Delmise. And this is a very large set overall, 183 total cards, so it is hard to believe I pulled so many duplicates out. Next pack. Here we go, here's a white colored code card, hoping for something good. Surskit to start this one. Onyx. Clam Pearl. Lotad. Fanpy, Fairy Type Energy, Torkoal, Lure Ball, Rainbow Energy. I would like to pull this card as a secret rare. Reverse Hollow of a Marshchomp, which is an uncommon. And the rare would be another rare hollow, this time a Delcaddy. A very reflective holofoil pattern on the card. I do like the appearance of those holofoil patterns on these cards. Stack Attack a pack now. Another white colored code card as well. Sneasel to start this pack. Wismer. Mudkip. Baltoy. Bagon. Psychic type energy. Lombre. Lantern. Switch. Reverse hollow. Would be a masquerade, another uncommon. And the final card would be a Bennett GX. So I'm used to pulling Bennett as a rare non hollow. Now it is a regular GX. So the second regular GX pull of this 40 booster pack opening. Rayquaza pack now. Not anything too great from this opening other than that secret rare Acrobike. Shuppet to start this pack. Sneasel. Wismer. Mudkip. Baltoy. Lightning type energy. Minin. Copycat. Loudred. Reverse solo of a switch, which is an uncommon, and the rare would be another Metacham. Rayquaza pack again. We'll take a look at the code here. Primetime Pokemon is my name for the online game. Baltoy to start this pack. Beldum. Lotad. Seedot. Skitty. Water type energy. Torkoal. Lure Ball. Rainbow Energy, Reverse Solo. There we go, first Prism Star pull of this opening in Latios Prism Star. And the final card would be a Rayquaza GX. So the GX card I was really hoping for, this is the second Rayquaza GX I have in my collection. I will need four for the deck I'm hoping to build, but the ability on this card is excellent, allowing you to accelerate energy and then drag and break can do major, major damage. So I'll set that one aside. Already three regular GX out, hoping to pull a couple of full art cards from this 40 booster pack opening. Looks like the white colored code cards are coming in runs here. Torchic to start this pack. Metatite. Chincho. Gulpin. Cacnea. Grass type energy. Loudred. Energy Recycle System, Shrine of Punishment, Reverse Hollow of a Manectric. This is the third rare Reverse Hollow pull of the opening. And the final card would be a Ludicolo, and this is a Rare Hollow. That makes four Rare Hollow cards so far. Next pack here. Back to a green colored code card. Alolan Rattata to start the pack. Torchic. Metatite, Chincho, Gulpin, Lightning Type Energy, Gorbis, Nuzleaf, TV Reporter, Reverse Hollow of a Tate and Liza, Uncommon, and the final card would be a Deoxys. A couple of different forms of Deoxys in this set. Next pack here. Alolan Rattata to start this one. Voltorb, Trico, Gulpin, Wismer, Fire-type Energy, Howl, 
metang, huntail, reverse hollow of a Voltorb, just a common, and the rare would be a Minectric. A card I pulled in reverse hollow form just a couple of packs ago. Rayquaza pack. Would love to pull a full art or a rainbow rare of Rayquaza. Cacnea to start this one. Torchic. Shuppet. Mudkip. Bagon. Fire type energy. Dunsparce. Last chance potion. Swalot. Reverse hollow of a Beldum, just a common. And the rare would be a Mr. Mime GX. I am a big fan of first generation Pokemon. So nice card to add to my collection. Four regular GX pulls so far. That should be it for the booster box. Those four additional packs. Who knows what will get in those. Shuppet to start this pack. Mudkip. Torchic. Wismer. Cacnea, Darkness Type Energy, Swalot, Underground Expedition, Minior, Reverse Hollow of a Jirachi Prism Star, so the second Prism Star pull of the opening, and the final card would be another Manectric. Blaziken Pack now, Torchic to start this one, Onyx. Sneasel, Bagon, Beltoy, Metal Type Energy, Scyther, Howl, Matang, Reverse Hollow, a base Swamper, there we go, another rare Reverse Hollow, and the final card would be an Explode. I'd say we're a little bit more than halfway through this 40 booster pack opening. Pretty solid pull so far. Trico to start this pack. Another Trico, Wismer, Voltorb, Slugma, Darkness Type Energy, Friend Ball, Mawile, Illumise, Reverse Hollow of a Fanpy, just a common, and the rare here would be another Banette. Was lucky enough to pull the Banette GX out earlier. Next pack here, another green colored code card. Whalmer to start the pack, Spinrack, Larvitar, Slackoth, Love Disc, Lightning Type Energy, Fisherman, a decent supporter card, Pupitar, Kecleon, Reverse Solo of a Plusle, which is an uncommon, and the rare here would be a Claydol. Stack Attack a pack now. Beldum to start this one. Lotad. Seedot. Skitty. Alolan Rattata. Psychic type energy. Huntail. Minin. Copycat. Reverse solo of a Huntail, which is an uncommon. And the rare here would be a Mag Cargo. Happy to pull this card again. That ability on Mag Cargo allows you to search your deck for a card and then put it on the top of your deck. You could pair that with Zoroark GX from Shining Legends, use Mag Cargo's ability first, and then use the trade ability on Zoroark to get the top two cards from your deck into your hand. Jirachi pack now. Still have not pulled any type of full art card, whether it be a GX full art or a full art trainer. Electrite to start the pack. Torchic. Onyx. Sneasel, Bagon, Fighting Type Energy, Soul Rock, Life Herb, Sky Pillar, Reverse Solo of a Spinarak, just a common, and the rare here would be a Waylord. Rayquaza Pack now. Wingle to start the pack. Metatite, Seedot, Clampearl. Fanpy, Fairy Type Energy, Bill's Maintenance, Plusle, Pelipper, Reverse Hollow of a Sky Pillar, an uncommon stadium card, and the final card would be a Kyogre. Would love to pull this card in Reverse Hollow form, like I did with the Groudon in this set. 
should be getting one more Prism Star card, I would predict. Hopefully Latius, and then I'd get all three in the set. Bellsprout to start this pack. Whalmer. Beldum. Spoink. Baltoy. Darkness type energy. Fisherman. Super Scoop Up. Masquerade. Reverse Solo of a Cacnea, which is a common. And the final card would be a Deoxys. Stack Attack a pack now. This pack starts with Meditite, Seedot, Clampearl, Fampy, Electrike, Water Type Energy, Rainbow Brush, Apricorn Maker, Don Fan, Reverse Follow of a Loudred, which is an uncommon, and the rare here would be a Cartana. So an Ultra Beast. Of course, Forbidden Light had a lot of cards dedicated to the Ultra Beast. Another stack attack a pack now. Surskit to start the pack. Sneasel. Shuppet. Mudkip. Beldum. Fighting type energy. Plusle. Pokenav. Vigoroth. Reverse Hollow of an Apricorn Maker, a decent supporter in the set. This is an uncommon. And the final card would be a Stevens Resolve. And this is a Full Art Trainer. So have not pulled many Full Art cards from Celestial Storm. A great card to pull there. I believe I only pulled out one Full Art card in the booster box that I opened up of Celestial Storm. Maybe I'll get two in this 40 booster pack opening. Torchic to start this pack. Shuppet. Mudkip. Bagon, Wismer, Fairy Type Energy, Acro Bike, the card that I pulled in, Secret Rare Form, Super Scoop Up, Weeping Bell, Reverse Solo, of an Explod, so another rare Reverse Solo, and the final card would be a Reg Ice. Rayquaza Pack, Slugma to start this one. Surskit, Sneasel, Shuppet, Mudkip, Fire Type Energy, Lysia, Beast Ball, Switch, Reverse Solo of a Chincho, just a common, and the final card would be a Regirock. Seven packs left to go. Should be getting a couple of more good pulls out. Wismer to start the pack. Trico. Another Trico. Wismer. Voltor. Metal type energy. Underground Expedition. Minior. Combuskin. Reverse Solo. Of another Minior. This one is an uncommon. And the final card would be a Grumpig. Rayquaza pack now. If only the Pokemon on the cover artwork design would correspond to the cards on the inside. I guess you potentially can get a Rayquaza inside the pack, but it's not likely. Love Disc to start. Electrike. Seedot. Wingle. Spoink. Grass type energy. Hustle Belt. Oricorio. Tropius. Reverse Solo of an energy recycle system, an uncommon. And the final card would be the Tyranitar Rare Hollow that I talked about in the open of this video. One of my favorite hollow cards in the set. Blaziken pack now. Onyx to start this pack. Bagon. Bellsprout. Fampy. Clampearl. Psychic type energy. The Mass Royal. Minior. Volbeat, Reverse Solo of a Pelipper, an uncommon Reverse Solo, and the final card would be another Deoxys. Four packs left to go, including this one. Green colored code card, so may pull a Prism Star out. The pack starts with Chincho, Onyx, Bagon, Bellsprout, Fanpy, Darkness Type Energy, Hiker, 
energy switch, rainbow brush, reverse solo, a base salamence, a great looking card here, rare reverse solo, and the final card would be a registeel. Rayquaza pack again. Another chance at a Prism Star card here. Clampearl to start the pack. Skitty. Lotad. Seedot. Beldum. Fighting type energy. Apricorn Maker. Donvan. Scyther. Reverse Solo of an Oracorio, which is an uncommon. And the rare here would be another Deoxys. Two packs left to go now. Of course, I'll summarize my pulls after these two packs are opened up. Voltorb to start the pack. Trico. Gulpin. Wismer. Shuppet. Grass type energy. Tate and Liza. Bill's maintenance. Cacturn. Reverse solo of a Stevens Resolve, the card that I pulled in full art form earlier in this opening. This is a rare reverse holo. And the final card would be a Celestila, and this is a rare holo. So two rares is always nice. Set both of those aside, and on to the last pack now. Stack Attacka on the cover artwork design. The final pack starts with Skitty, Lotad, Seedot, Beldum, Alolan Rattata, Fairy Type Energy, Pelipper, Sky Pillar, Dunsparce, Reverse Solo of a Shuppet, just a common, and the final card would be a Kartana. So I can summarize my pulls from these 40 booster packs now. I was able to pull out seven rare Reverse Solos Steven's Resolve, Salamence, Explode, Swampert, Manectric, Groudon, and then Lunatone. I was able to pull out six rare hollow, Celestila, Tyranitar, Ludicolo, Delcaddy, Salamence, and then Slacking. When it came to Ultra Rares and Secret Rares, I only pulled out two Prism Star cards, Jirachi and Latios. I was able to pull out four regular GX, Mr. Mime, Rayquaza, the card that I was hoping for, Bennett, and then Electrode. I was able to pull out one Full Art card in a Full Art Trainer, Steven's Resolve, and then probably the best pull of the opening, or the rarest, would be the Acrobike Secret Rare. So to summarize my pulls in this 40 booster pack opening, I was able to pull out seven rare reverse holo, six rare holo, two prism star, four regular GX, one full art trainer, and one secret rare trainer. So as far as a booster box essentially goes, this was an average box overall. So there you have it. Thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, make sure to check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages. So thanks everyone for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.